My name is Robert, and I, along with five other people, run a community house in LA. We want this to be a safe place for kids who live in our neighborhood, these children of Los Angeles who struggle with issues of poverty, undocumented parents, gangs, and an abysmal school district in addition to all of the regular pressures of growing up. Here at the community house, we want the kids to have a safe place to visit, to play, a place to study and get help studying, a place to form hopes and express dreams, a place where they can find encouragement and experience both tough and tender love, and just maybe, a place to meet God. Now our neighborhood can be a bit deceiving. On the surface, it's quite pleasant. The houses and apartments are cute, it's a little run down. Paramount Studios is right next door, bringing with it a flurry of nicer cars that park on the streets but don't belong. Reality sneaks back in when I fall asleep to the sound of LAPD helicopters circling overhead, looking for criminals. It's frustrating to listen to kids tell you about gangs, and whether they're exaggerating or not, about attempts to recruit them. Questions about drugs and violence seep into daily conversations. The world that these kids grow up in is not at all a cozy small town. It's about as frightening as it can get. Only 10% of students who graduate from public high schools in LA have the chance of applying to college. That leaves 90% of students mostly unequipped to excel and succeed. It makes it difficult to even believe that the cycle can or will be broken. And so, some of these kids come to our La Casa de Comunidad four evenings a week and bring this reality with them. Sometimes there are three and sometimes there are 20. Many times we don't know what to do with them, but we try. We play with them, help them with homework if they ask, we talk to them about their lives and about ours, while answering questions about God and faith. We're always trying to figure out better ways to connect and better ways to teach. Not just academics, but habits and lessons that might lead to better lives than these children believe they can have. Really, we just try to love them. It's hard, it's frustrating, it's exhausting, it's fun. We do the best we can, and while we can probably do better, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Pray for the community house, the kids, me and my housemates. Pray that we can find God's guidance, God's love, and God's energy.